Hey, what's up, furniture nerds? Welcome to another episode of Flat Packs Exposed, the review series, brought to you by Prime Spaces. Hey, what's up, furniture nerds? I'm doing a quick review of this upholstered platform bed with wingbacks. And first, I'm gonna start with the unboxing. So if you are shopping for this particular bed, you'll have a better idea of what to expect when you take everything out of the box. This bed ships in this large cardboard box shown here. Each part comes wrapped in plastic to protect the upholstery during shipping. And right on top, you'll see the headboard. It's lightweight and easy to handle, and the padding is plush enough to provide comfortable support when sitting up in bed. Here are the four side rails of the bed that each have hooks on the end to attach to the headboard and footboard. Connecting two of them will make one long side rail. Here are the two footboard feet. Here are the two center support beams. Here is the cross support beam for the top of the bed frame. And here is the cross support beam for the middle of the bed frame. Here is the box containing the hardware and smaller parts for the bed, which will open in just a second. Here is the footboard, which is also lightweight and easy to handle. Here is the instruction manual, which is pretty straightforward and easy to follow. Here are the two extra wide wing backs of the bed, and surprisingly, they're pretty lightweight and easy to handle along with the other parts. The lightweightness of the parts in general will help make the assembly easier to complete. And here are the two sets of wooden slats that your mattress will lay on. They have Velcro straps that will attach to the side rails to stay in place. Now let's check out the hardware. Here are the two metal side rail supports for the bed. Here are the two corner braces for the headboard. Here is the center support foot. Here are the two footboard feet. And these are the side rail to footboard connectors that the footboard feet will twist into. Here are the two wing back connector plates. Finally, here is the pre-organized pack of hardware bolts for the assembly. And since we are on the topic of assembly, the number one tip to assembling this bed properly is to finger tighten the bolts before finally fully tightening them. This bed only uses machine bolts for hardware, therefore each bolt needs to be able to fit exactly into its corresponding hole. So in order to seamlessly get the bolts to fit, all of the furniture parts need to be loose. Now there will be many people in reviews that may complain that certain parts aren't lining up and 99% of the time it's because they have over tightened a bolt and it's restricting the bed parts from properly aligning to corresponding holes. So do exactly as you see me here, installing each bolt by first finger tightening them before fully tightening them. This will ensure that all the parts are even and that the bed sits level to the floor. Now to quickly review this upholstered bed, my initial reaction after the assembly is that this bed is awesome. The front of the headboard sports a minimalist design, free of any buttons or patterns, but is balanced out with its very distinct widened wingbacks. And the padding inside the headboard is made with a high density sponge, making it a comfortable backrest. But one of the best highlights of the bed is the vibrant fabric upholstery, which stands out and really catches the eye, especially in rooms with plenty of natural light as you see here. The wooden slats are pretty durable as well, supporting up to 800 pounds, and they sit on top of a foam pad located on the metal center support so you can enjoy a restful sleep. And if you're short on storage, then you're in luck because there's about 6.3 inches of underbed clearance for additional storage space. Now as for the assembly, it took about an hour and a half to complete, from unboxing to assembly using an electric drill. However, the bed also comes with an allen key to tighten all the bolts. But for the average person, you can expect anywhere between an hour and a half to three hours for the assembly, of course, depending on your skill set, your experience, and the tools you use. The instruction manual is pretty straightforward too, and all the hardware comes pre-organized, which means you won't have to do any sorting or organizing yourself prior to the assembly. But overall, I really do like this bed and would highly recommend it to anyone looking to transform their sleep space with a modern bed that's both comfortable and stylish. So go ahead, check it out, and happy shopping.